Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Hot Floor and the key was provided by developer. Let me get to the game and uh, check it if it's recording because we have problems here. Is it recording now? Yes, I guess. Because the game um, doesn't have too well done settings. So it tells you that it opens in uh, window mode, which kinda is window mode. For some reason it's still on full screen. I can sort of switch back to OBS, but it doesn't work too well, and then sometimes I see what's in the game, sometimes I don't. It seems to be recording, let's just check once again. Alright, uh, so the game is a very, very simple game about the jumping over lava, uh, and it has quite horrible uh, controls, both in game and in the menu. Uh, generally speaking, in the game you can use mouse, but in menu you cannot. So that's the settings, and you have to use uh, arrows generally or WASD to navigate it. Uh, at least we have slider, not really slider, but you can go down with music completely, uh, step by step. There's like a couple of steps, probably 10 of them. Uh, so it goes by 10%. Mouse speed, which isn't in the menu, I have no idea why. Motion blur is completely horrible. I don't know why people do it in games, it's just disgusting in most cases and uh, we can play the game I guess uh, we have a couple of levels unlocked and of course I'm very bad at this and the good part here is that if you like it there is 50 levels so of course you can do the challenging uh, jumping I'm not sure if this is even a puzzle it's mostly just timed jumps which are very hard to control so the game is mostly annoying but it does have 50 levels so that's nice uh, let's start it. Now you have to navigate with buttons here and it's very hard to go to next uh, like ne next attempt because uh, well we'll see it in, in a moment but it, it's um, it's badly designed because if you die and you die very quickly you, you want to start again it can go to next level or to previous level instead there is no mouse there is still no mouse here at all uh, that is just enter. Now we can play, sort of. It is timed, but doesn't matter. So that's the graphics, and that's all we see, generally speaking, aside from, of course, the variety of platforms in the m more complicated levels. Uh, we move, I'm not sure if we move by step or is it smooth movement. Hard to say. And generally speaking, you have to jump with spacebar, which is very badly responsive, especially when it comes to double jumps. Uh, double jumps don't even work here, I think, or they, they are just very hard to register. So the biggest problem uh, for me with this game is that double jump is hard to do. So generally speaking, you jump over lava. So this is um, the most annoying element in most platformer games made into a game, which is a sequence of um, timed jumps. You have to jump at a specific moment. I think this is the annoying level with double jump. Uh, yeah, so now I start it. Now let's just fail. Oh, it's you hold it. Oh, we can hold it. It's nice. They tell you you can hold it. For some reason I had problems with double jumps. The hold jumps are better. They at least work. Right. So this, this wasn't too bad, I, I must say. I think I've had level 5 and there was the double jump. It was very badly done, very hard to do. So let's fail. What if we fail? Okay, if we fail, we press enter. No, we have to play, pr press jump. Let's see if enter works. No. Yes, enter works. Uh, let's fail again. Now let's press fuck. Yeah, if you go jump. Uh, yeah, we kind of are at the start. That's not the worst thing. Maybe it was changed. Maybe it was actually patched because I tested it like yesterday and it was constantly on the next button for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I messed it up somehow. But well, it, it is better now. Okay, you can start instantly another one. A jumping again is them. Let's see if you can do the wall jump. Uh, okay. I don't know. What does it mean run? Is it with shift? No, it doesn't work. Of course. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, see, this is the problem. I pushed the wrong button and it goes away. I think I pushed 
left. Yeah, I pushed left because I was still trying to do the moves and then it I died uh, and it switched to menu and then I clicked it instead of start. Yes, there's something wrong with the way it's uh, situated, the buttons. You just end up pressing something else than start and you're gonna fail multiple times in a row. Yeah, I did it, but it died. So, okay, let's try again. Again, just spacebar, wait. I don't know why it's this wait. Again, spacebar, wait. Okay, so maybe we go like this and just don't move, don't move. We are alive. And I think there is another one. I'm gonna fail it, so I'm probably gonna show you next level because this is something I absolutely hate in most games, especially platformer games. Yeah, I, I failed. So, okay. I'm just gonna show next level because this is just too much for me uh, to ask to do this. I don't know how is this one different. Uh, this is still jumping. Jumping off walls. I'm not sure what they mean by running. I mean, you can, like, you can, like, jump higher, but I'm not sure how you run. I'm not sure if it says. I, I don't think it does. What if we just... I, I'm pressing shift now. I know if it does anything. Uh, I'm gonna do a prolonged jump and then jump again. Okay, so prolonged jump, jump again. Failed. Once again. First we have to jump here, right? Then position ourselves. And we die again. And that's how it goes. This is what happens in some games often. Yeah. Again, it didn't register. Or maybe I messed it up because I'm stupid. I'm not saying I'm not. Just again, long jump. No. You cannot jump instantly, so you have to kind of learn the sequence, if there is any. So let's try to jump. No. <sighs> I'm not sure how you exactly cling to the wall, because you don't see your character. It's not like Prince of Persia, right? So if I just jump... Do I keep running? Sort of. Yeah, we made it. But now the problem is that there is another one. Two of them actually in a row. So you run, you jump, and I messed up. Okay, I messed up completely. So it feels like it's a very badly done Prince of Persia game. In Prince of Persia you could just do it in, with two buttons. You, you were seeing your character. You could sort of guess when you're supposed to jump. It was better. Now let's try this double jump, which is absolutely horrible. See, now I'm on next. I have to go back to start. Press space. Now what they say? They say double jump. Maybe I should prolong it and then jump. No, I died. Again, twice. Spacebar loading. Okay, prolong jump. Dead. Same thing. Uh, I didn't know about the prolong. Should be better, but it's worse actually. It's not very reactive. Again, jump. No, I, I'm not sure how I'm flipping uh, from the first jump to the other because I don't see my character. I'm not even sure if I'm doing the jump. I'm just trying to press, as they say, space, space, space. Okay, now it worked, but I died. Maybe we have to keep pressing spacebar. Now it worked. I was just pressing it like an idiot. Now it works, guys. If I'm spamming spacebar, it actually works. If I just press it, it doesn't. So this is weird. This is very weird. Very badly done. And we made it to level 6 and I'm dying inside because we have to... What is it? Shift trigger to glide. What does it mean? Glide? Am I? Am I gliding? Oh, okay, I get it. The the bar on the left is glide. Uh, what does it mean? We are, but we didn't make it. Alright. Again, this is just good idea but bad mechanics. And it should be a part of a bigger game. This stuff works in games like, I don't know, Saints Row, when it's done properly. Here it just doesn't work. It's there but it doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Maybe, what can I do? I can just... Prolonged jump and then shift. No, that was a bad idea. So how about we spam to double jump and then we shift. Spam, shift. 
Okay, it worked. Spam shift worked. Uh, spam shift. We died. And I'm stuck, I guess. Okay, once again. So spamming helps. Kinda. Not always, but kinda helps. Probably I would have to jump on, on now it didn't register, of course. Um, I was spamming, but it didn't work. Okay, a again, spamming? No, too late. Okay, once again. Uh, maybe I will take some space. Now again. I'm thinking about pressing shift to run, but I don't think if there is running in the game. So maybe we just spam shift. Yes, works. And I died. Because I don't see the uh, area below my feet, of course, unless I do this. Um, spam shift. Okay, that was bad. Probably I didn't jump off the very edge. I jumped like too early. Now it should work. Yes. Again. Spamming and shift. Okay. Spamming, shift. Almost. Okay. Guys, I'm stopping here because this is way too annoying. Uh, so, that's the game. That's what you get. I showed you a couple of levels. Like I think I've beaten two of them because I was stuck on five. So, I did five and six. I got stuck on seven and I'm dying inside. Uh, one of them was hard as well. Yeah, the double jump was hard. So, the idea might be good uh, because, well, it uses all the mechanics that exist in other games where those mechanics are done properly. I can think of Hollow Knight, I can think of um, what else? Well, Tomb Raider, I guess, kinda, the new one. It had some mechanics with climbing, and it was done much better. Uh, Saints Row. Sort of. that It had gliding, it had jumps, um, running as well. Uh, very bad controls, that's for sure. And very bad many. I don't know why mouse doesn't doesn't work. Uh, also, there is little to the game aside from jumping. This is the just the part about uh, timed jumps that exist in uh, 2D platformers or 3D open world games. Usually done better, in most cases. It's just done better. It registers better. No, not always, because sometimes those, those parts are done badly and they are annoying. In some games they are done properly. Like first Tomb Raider had it quite well done, the, the jumping part. And uh, 50 levels of this. So we could say it's a puzzle, in which case I would, as always, be lenient and say, okay, there's 50 levels of a puzzle game. But it's not a puzzle, guys. This is a skill-based, which I hate, uh, 3D game about the jumping. This is, the whole game, from what I understand, is about jumping and gliding, kinda, mostly jumping, and it fails um, in a bad way. It doesn't fail because you didn't do something. It fails because it's hard to control. You don't see your character to guess. You have to uh, repeat multiple times the sequence, which you don't even know, with buttons you don't even understand, because what does it say? Let's check. Let's check again. I just want to see. Uh, I'm looking for mouse, but there is no mouse, okay? Uh, settings. See, there is nothing. There's no explanation about even uh, the buttons that you're using. They're explained in the levels, sort of. So, from what I understand, shift is glide and uh, space is jump. And I don't know if there are any, any other mechanics because the game doesn't tell you. It might appear on the screen while you beat other levels, but I can't can do it, so whatever. Uh, I just know about two buttons so far, and it's not explained in anywhere. Of course, you cannot map them. Uh, spacebar doesn't register too well. Uh, it, it's not a spacebar while you jump, uh, two jumps for the second time. It's spam spacebar to jump, and then it kind of registers. Uh, also, I don't know why there is a mouse in the game and no mouse in many. This is crazy. I don't know why the game is in full screen, which is kind of cut a little bit, even though I put it on uh, 1.7 thousand uh, resolution. It should be in a window. I should be seeing my desktop. I'm not. I'm not seeing it. It is on um, window mode. It's uh, when I started the game. It's done properly. I set it, but it doesn't work. So annoying to record. 
Uh, it's good that it has sliders. This is awesome. Because without sliders, it will be a massacre. Uh, motion blur is unnecessary completely. As for the graphics, uh, you know, that would be okay if it was a part of other game, like old game. You know, I don't mind it. In games like uh, Might and Magic 6 or First Gothic, if you make lava like this, I would say, okay, it's one of the levels. It has lava. I get it. It looks like, like lava. It's not good by any means, but, uh, well, I, that's not the problem with the game. The problem with the game, there are two problems. One problem is that this is skill-based jumping game and nothing more. And the other problem is that it's badly controlled. So even if it worked perfectly, it would be just a small part of another game, like Prince of Persia or Salt and Sanctuary or Saints Row, uh, made into a full game. This is not a part of game where you do something with your character and you jump. You just jump. That's the whole game. So, little content, unless you want to count those 50 levels as puzzles, then you have a puzzle game with 50 uh, levels. To me, it's not puzzle. To me, it's skill-based. Uh, so, little content to me, but if you are a complete fan of this, if you want to do those super timed jumps and go through the annoyance and beat the game for the sake of it, for just boasting rights, then you can try it. It's definitely going to be hard and annoying. So if you beat it fully, then, you know, kudos to you. You're awesome. Uh, I don't have nerves to do it. And there is nothing else. So do it for the sake of it, to me, is completely pointless. But maybe there are people who do those things for just for satisfaction. Maybe it's possible, I guess. Uh, I personally look for other elements of the game aside from this. This is just the, one of the most annoying elements I can find in games. If it's done really well in specific games, which has uh, which have other things to offer, then I can you know let it go. I can be like, okay, the game is still good, even though it has stuff like that. Like let's say Dying Light. Dying Light had parkour done well, and at times it was hard, at times it was annoying, but it was much more responsive. It looked better. And there was an entire game behind it. This is just the jumping, done badly. So, to me, this game was very, very annoying. But I think I showed you what it is. So, you can see and you can make your own decision. Uh, how many points? I would say just, I don't know, 2 out of 10. Uh, one point, be not, not because it works, because it has problems with registering uh, the buttons. And it's just super annoying. But for the idea. Uh, you know, it has new mechanics, sort of, or rather new elements of the uh, three-dimensional uh, environment introduced in each level, so it has a growing difficulty. The problem is that the gameplay loop is annoying, and it's bad. Uh, generally speaking, uh, any puzzle game done like this, where you have 50 levels and they are uh, more and more difficult, and where you have to use your brain, not your skill, uh, are done properly, are actually add points for that. You know, 50 nice, interesting levels where you have to think is a good thing. It's a good amount of content. But 50 annoying levels is a torture. So, uh, unless you really like those things, unless you really like those timed jumps, and unless you're good at it, um, you shouldn't buy it. Uh, by, by no means. But there might be a very small very tiny group of customers that are into this. They're just gonna boast about beating the game that is doing everything to not allow them to be beaten. But aside from perfect reflex and perfect sequencing of jumps and moving your mouse around and making it register and just doing it proper way, whatever the way is, because it's hard to say what and how and when you should press to uh, you know, make it work and not just fail again, uh, if you're not into this, you, you won't like it. So, guys, that will be it about a uh, hot floor game. And I will see you guys in the next review.